we got a storm coming in and it's being preceded by this yellow mist here. Very weird. But uh, a couple seconds ago, we could see Granby Lake. Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. Well, it's the next day and we're gonna head into the town that uh, we've been kind of uh, towering over at this really cool campsite that we're at. Um, and kind of see what they have. We're hoping there's a library so we can get some work done and uh, just kind of check it out. Uh, you guys can come along with us if you want. It'd be nice to find some water. Oh yeah, we need water. And ice. Right. Cooler life sucks, guys. Yeah, ice <laughs> every other day. Yeah. All right, let's get it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's some moose right here. There they are. Right there. Nice houses here. <laughs> Clouds in the sky today. The sign across the street says Moose Crossing. <laughs> They're right. This lake here is Shadow Mountain Lake. It's a beautiful view. Some nice cabins on here too. Kind of tucked away in the trees. And now we are, we have just entered the city or town of Grand Lake, Colorado. Um, just beautiful, right outside Rocky Mountain National Park. the trees but there is some forest fire devastation look at that mountain yeah. it, look at those cabins yeah oh wow those are some fancy cabins yeah. can you even call that a cabin when it's like the size of a bigger than like a normal house? <laughs> bigger than a normal house <laughs> like that's like a lodge the lodges <laughs> dairy king it's almost like they got the name and colors from somewhere. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's Dairy Queen's husband. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like a touristy town, guys. Um, kind of just, I don't know, place to spend money. We might have to spend a little bit here. Nah, we ain't got no money. <laughs> well, hopefully we can get the water for free, but we got to buy the ice. It's the Juniper Library. <laughs> it's a beautiful library, man. A lot of our days are spent at libraries, working the days away, editing and making videos for you, posting on social media, 
and just catching up with all your comments. I feel that a lot of people don't know that libraries aren't just books. They're full of movies, some have board games, some even have musical instruments and telescopes. We encourage you guys to go check out your local library and see what they have to offer. You might actually be surprised. If they don't have that stuff, it's at least a nice quiet place to relax and read a book or work. Grand Lake. Looks like there's a storm coming in though. Um, supposed to be scattered thunder showers today. Still a bunch of people out on the paddle boats and such. And some nice, nice. That's awesome. Yeah. You know, Opal's pretty cool, but that car's bussin'. <laughs> it is. So this is the guy that owns this car, the license plate that says Bussin. Would not have guessed the <laughs> kind of middle-aged dude. <laughs> He's Bussin. <laughs> So we're pulling in to get a couple groceries and they have a city market in Granby, Colorado. We've been finding these for quite a while now and finding their prices are even better than Walmart. So... And they have a pretty good selection and they're also known as a King Supers or Kroger. Uh, I guess they would be similar to a Fred Meyer if Fred Meyer was only a grocery store. Yeah. Pretty much. Liz was cooking dinner and it started pouring down rain and thunder and lightning. The chairs are getting soaked. So is there. It's fine. Just get in here. Uh, Liz made us spaghetti. And uh, hopefully our stove dries out so we can cook again tomorrow morning. I made such a mess, the wind was blowing and it was boiling over and it was kind of chaotic. <laughs> but now we're warm and dry in the van. Yep. Hot spaghetti. Yep. And uh, I'm sure our tent will dry out. The weather do be crazy here in Colorado. Yeah, <laughs> it does. And it changes in an instant too. So our neighbors 
who decided to block the road so we cannot get out with one of their cars are deciding to set up right there. And they put a barbecue or a mailbox down there. Yeah. I don't want to assume methamphetamines, but I am assuming methamphetamines. <laughs> yeah. I think they're just trying to push us away and make us move. I bet you he's going to take a leak right there. Yep. <laughs> yep. So that's the road that he just decided to take a leak on. So they've gotten in their vehicles and I'm thinking they're just gonna move them right down there. They're probably gonna drive right by us. Nothing pisses me off more than disrespectful campers. Now they're driving right through our camp. Down to their barbecue. Or mailbox. Or mailbox. <laughs> oh, there's the guy who's coming back with a log. He's bushcrafting. <laughs> No, we're not. <laughs> that car is not gonna make it. If it does, there's gonna be oil everywhere. Like, it's a pretty rough road. We wouldn't even take Opal down that. Did the bushcrafting guy just drop the log in front of the road? No. Yeah. I just, I'm not a fan of like 90% of people. Especially people that have no respect for other people's space. Yes, I know this is a public forest, but literally there's a spot way over there. There's another spot there and there's 21 miles of road. And like, they're not quiet people. Like we've heard nothing but yelling the entire time. I'm kind of worried. There's those people that left the teardrop trailer by us and I think they left it by us because we looked like we wouldn't do anything to it <laughs> hey, it's not our fault they, <laughs> they've left that for two days now it's a nice little scamp yeah I'm worried for that yeah and now these people are going to have a big ass bonfire but good thing it just rained yeah it did just rain but still like <sighs> we were supposed to have a peaceful night. I mean, are we wrong? Like, yeah, I think that's a good, honest question because I don't know. Because I don't know. I mean, if if they plan on being quiet, and you know stuff, but I don't think they care. Because they're just, they're yelling. Across the forest. Talking about spark, starting a fire. Like, <sighs> is it just me? Is it just us? Or is that just the worst thing that can happen when you have, you have this beautiful place where on top of a hill, away from everybody, like, we were upset when those people came, <laughs> but we weren't that upset because it's like, whatever, they're on, they're on the other road, but the, like, these people are like, right there, <laughs> like... 
Ugh. Have some etiquette, people. Please have some etiquette. I realized just by watching that guy walk and pee on the main road, there's no etiquette in that. <laughs> so now our friends uh, down the road a ways are just moving their truck around every five minutes at night. They turn it off, start it back, but the other car left. Yeah. Which way? There we go. He's backing into... There's like trees right behind him. Yeah. This is kind of entertaining. It's kind of annoying too. Um, one person's outside of the truck. You see them standing there? Yep. So... And they stopped again. This is the second time they've moved. Their friend with a car had already left. I hope you guys find this as entertaining as we do. Because <laughs> it kind of pisses me off. They have a fire going. It's not a good fire. It's just enough to make a lot of smoke. Yeah. So they must not have flashlights or something, and they just need to use their truck as a flashlight. So they just keep moving it around, lighting up different areas. Well, what's the, they got some. Uh, now they're setting up a oh, tent. Is that a tent or a sleeping bag? Are they going to cowboy camp? I don't know. Oh, there you go. I can see a little better. So yeah, they just uh, keep turning on the car, turning off their car, moving it around, turning on their car, turning off their car, moving it around. Their friend has already left. <sighs> Drugs are bad, kids. Yeah. Nothing productive is happening there. <laughs> they keep moving it around. <laughs> I'm sure they can see me. I'm probably lit up by the camera. You've been staring them down this whole time. <laughs> I have. I'm not happy with these people. Are they folding it up? They're playing the parachute game. Parachute, parachute. <laughs> I wonder if they still do that in schools. I don't know. It was fun. I can't tell if they're folding it up or opening it yeah, up. Yeah, it looks like they're folding a blanket, but they're just like... Okay, now he's back to square one. <laughs> That's exactly where he started. We have determined that they need to move their truck 16 times before they can set up a tent in a spot that is not a camp spot at all. But he's got a giant shadow. I love it making giant shadows. <laughs> uh, it's not really showing up. No. Uh -huh. Alright, this has been your nightly tweaker update. <laughs> well, you know, if anything else comes to fruition. We really shouldn't laugh because it's kind of sad, but it's like, it's frustrating at the same time. Yeah, it's annoying. I forgot to mention, they had plenty of daylight to put up their tent. Mm -hmm. And they just decided that... It was important to do their drugs first, I guess. I don't know. We're assuming a lot with these people, but... Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, we're probably not even gonna. I think the guy that just peed in the, out in the road like that. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. We'll see. So it's eleven o'clock at night, and they've been messing with their tent for hours. And now they just left. And I think they left their tent there. All right, guys. Let's take a look. Hello? They got dog food bowl. Dog leash. Fire's still burning. Tents here, water's here. And they're cooler. Come on guys, you leaving your fire going? This is like a burnt forest here. I guess they were having trouble with the tent. They'll probably be back. Left garbage everywhere. That's just weird. None of this garbage was here before they came. <sighs> Weird. Uh, update on the tweakers that left all their stuff. They just came back two days later. And they're picking it up. I am amazed. Good, good for them to actually pick their stuff up. Because it sucks when people leave trash in the forest. Alright, just thought I'd update you. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.